Yes, people, welcome back to The Point with me, David and Aaron. Um, you're locked into Affinity Extra. Uh, so glad you're joining us again for another episode. And, and man, again, we've got another juicy uh, topic um, that we're going to be talking about. May or may not be controversial to some, but, but we think it's really important that we... Um, that we really discuss some of the hard hitting topics, especially when it surrounds the faith, when it surrounds mm. the church and even the perception of the church and, and its leaders and Christians and, and so forth, etc. But before we do that, Aaron, how's Yo. things? What's going on? How you been? As you can see, I'm in a distant land. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in Bristol. Okay. Okay. At college. I've been here since uh, Tuesday and okay. I'm leaving straight after this. So listen, as soon as we're finished recording, I'm gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> there isn't no catch up. No, I'm gone. I need to go home. I need to... Anyway, carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Good, good, good. <laughs> so apart from... So I don't know then in regards to you being... Um, having your study week away down at, uh, at college. I don't know what is... What have you been locked into apart from obviously being involved in that? Have you had a kind of a go-to uh show or program or or anything that you've been listening or vibing to um or is it just been purely you've, you've kind of just had to to luck away for a bit oh boy man you know what apart from the odd video on on youtube and and the twitch streaming that, right, that i've right. been watching the twitch anime stuff as well i've been you know reading a couple of books i've been reading a book called how to be unsuccessful. Okay. So okay. good read. It's a good read. But yeah, but nothing, nothing too too uh too too different. Okay, yeah. okay. What is that? What's how, up? How what about to, you? How to um, hold up, how to be unsex unsexful, unsuccessful. That's it. How to be unsuccessful. And basically, basically what it's all about is is it's challenging the contemporary or the modern idea. People be relevant, they want to be seen, they they, they want to have influence. Yeah. But what the book is saying is, man, to be a human mm. like Jesus, who is the image of what a human should be, being human, we don't we don't act like the world. Right. We act like Jesus. And that's the same thing. I'm gonna start preaching now, you know that. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna start preaching now. Okay. <laughs> that, yeah, that's just just I just wanted to know what that because as you said, most books is all about driven to be successful um mm. and to kind of you know maximize this this notion of idea of what success means in in today's society okay that that sounds sounds interesting um yeah for, so, so what i've i've been so that i've finished a series uh what is it true detective the night country yeah 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 i've heard of it yeah um, <laughs> what are you saying? What? How? It's, well, how was? It? It's it, it, part of it's a bit. Now I don't do like um, call it doppy shows. I don't really do yeah. horrors, or, but it's a bit. I didn't realize it was going to be a bit um, thrillerish. No, it's a bit of a thriller, but yeah, it was a bit. It was a good, but it was. Yeah, I don't know what I expected. I think I've only watched mm. one other season, um, mm. and it was more like. Yeah, detective work. This was a bit more just I don't know. It was an okay watch. Yeah. But yeah, was, yeah. Yeah. I think more I think the more the fact I liked it was where it was set, Alaska. Um and, and it was over that period of time where it's just pure darkness. Like just over like there's even there's no sunlight, I think, for like two is it like two or three weeks or maybe a month. Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, the, the sun the sun don't set at all so i like the thought of man how would it be to live where you have no sunlight you wake up in the morning it's dark mm -hmm. like it, that would just i don't know what that would do to people's i don't know body clock just just living in that but yeah it was a different kind of watch but yeah I'm, I'm, yeah I, I, yeah, I don't even know where to rank it because it, it was a weird one for me. But it was a decent watch, but just just weird. But yeah, I get you. Um, but I have been reading. Um, I wish I had. I've, I've got it, the books in my bag. I wish I had it to show it. Um, it's called um, the emotionally healthy leader. I've read it. 
uh, 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 Peter, Peter. Scazzaro. Yeah, 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 I read yeah. it. Yeah, that's a good so, book. Yeah, so I started I recommend reading that one. It. That's good, man. I started reading it couple, probably a couple years ago, and I've picked it back up again. Mm. Man, um, it's deep, 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 proper, proper book. So, and 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 today, that's one of the things we're going to be looking at and talking about leadership or um, leaders in the faith. Yeah. Um, and I know we're going to really Sorry. just focus on and look at uh, Christian leaders, but I know we could we could we could talk even more just about leadership in general and leaders and especially mm. political leaders, uh, business leaders, community leaders, and all and all the rest of it. But we're just going to focus on uh, Christian Christian leaders, um, and, yeah. and and we know more often than not, it's the scandals that grab attention. Mm. Um, that's a, yeah, it's, it's, it's sad, but, but, but you're right. It's often the scandals that get the attention. The, the, the Christian, the faithful ones who go under the radar and do their thing day in, day out, week in, and don't get the plaudits and, and the accolades. It's almost mm. like, well, that's in that standard. That's what they should be doing. But, but yeah. when there's a, uh, a high profile um, leader or minister, um mm. the the attention um is 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 grabbed especially when it involves a uh, mm. scandal or, or or something that's very questionable um mm. but i also find interesting just our response to that yeah. not just our response but also the person in question's response yeah um what does then that mean for for the response of whatever it might be of 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 the leader of mm. the church christians and people outside of the faith or people in general and just uh yeah how the world would perceive what 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 is happening mm. and what and what's going on mm. and we, we have so many examples i know that we could we could use but just we know there's been a few high profile um yeah. and, and in yeah. particular one of late um yeah that really came to the fore at the start start of the year yeah, man it was big it, it was big when it, it was big when the news came out so i think one of them was uh bishop td jakes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the african-american preacher who leads uh, uh the potter's house yeah. it's in it's in it's, is it in virginia or atlanta or something like that texas it it's somewhere in the yeah i think it was dallas. Uh, yeah dallas dallas dallas, dallas. 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 Yeah. dallas. Yeah. Yeah. And basically what happened is so T D Jakes had a vibrant ministry for for, for many years, as as we all know. You know, dating back to when he put on his first play, uh, a Woman Thou Art Loose and, and wrote and wrote the book Woman Thou Art Loose and and you know, grew up in a uh, uh, you know, grew up you know, grew up in an unknown place and, and and really didn't really have any sort of like prominence or or, or or gravitas as a kid and uh and yeah man god and and, and 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 yeah we we all know the story you know god god really blessed the man and and now he's become the person we see today producing movies writing books uh lecturing uh, putting on conferences seminars going on radio meeting other famous people yeah and and he's met one of if not the most famous uh, uh kind of uh music label person uh music creation producer person who created bad boy mm -hmm. the, the the record label that had billy smalls on it mm -hmm. p diddy yeah. puff daddy diddy combs mm -hmm. he they developed a friendship or a, a, a connection and with that said they would hang out with each other you know, TD, you know, you know, P. Diddy would repost TD Jakes and I would think he went to church. And Bishop Jakes would go to P. Diddy's parties. Yeah. And what happened was uh, uh, people are beginning to question TD Jakes, especially as it relates to his morality in and regards is, to sex. And is this in regards to, I suppose, what's happening as well with P. Diddy, with him? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. being being under the spotlight of scrutiny and and, and, the, and the allegations uh, has made against him which has kind of made it even more that's poignant it. 
So sorry, didn't didn't want to cut you. Can, so, so carry on, yeah, yeah. No, 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 it's cool, it's cool. I'm disagreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. You, you can finish. Yeah. I'm so yeah. I think that's because of that. That and that's highlighted well. Why, why has been why why allegedly why would a bishop, uh, such oh, a right. prominent leader and mm. minister, be seen and be attending parties that have. Mm. Rumors mm. of being—I don't know. This is just what 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 people are are yeah. are, are saying. It's interesting, goes, man. Like <laughs> then, then that that throws up. Why would he? Yeah, you know. And then, and then the the arguments of what does it mean to be light in a, a, a dark place, and and what does that mean? Well, you know. We don't, we don't walk in the the counsel of the ungodly and all those people. You know those kind of scriptures and things people will 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 use, but it it throws up a lot of um, questions mm. um, that people will just land at a place and and yeah and make their own judgment um, yeah. based on that. So 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 what does then that mean for? I suppose one. I mean, there's different ways we could look at this. What does it mean for believers and Christians um, being in those kind of spaces and places? What does it mean, especially for leaders, uh, especially for those who are who are Christian leaders, being in those spaces and, and places? Um, and, and what does then that mean in regards to what it what is it what is it what it, what does that mean? then, especially when we talk about. Um, a sense of morality, a sense of integrity, um, a, a sense of being upright, mm. but also being relatable. Mm. So what, what do you? No, it's it's no, it's 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 a big question. Like, you know, what? So I, so I used to work in a secondary school, mm -hmm. and um, I won't name them, but thank God I left. <laughs> I, I, I say that much. <laughs> Basically. In the secondary school, one of the things I was always wrestling with is how can I remain, how can I remain authentically me, right. you know, being human, but at the same time realize if I behave too human, these kids aren't going to respect me. Mm -hmm. These kids are going to say stuff about me, going to take, they're going to make jokes of me and, and and not take me seriously, and my reputation and the school's reputation can go down if I don't behave in accordance to codes and conduct. But at the same time, how can I connect with them if I'm not human? Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 that, it's that fine balance of maintaining your humanity, but at the same time abiding, if we're talking in a Christian sense, abide, ab abiding by God. Uh, by God's wisdom found found with the scripture man it's 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 a difficult balance like what do you think about relatability and being you know light light in darkness like what do you what do you think about that yeah I I, I hundred percent agree I think it's vital and important that you um that you're able to be authentic in who you are mm but also recognizing that and, and i think where sometimes we either have two extremes we have the holier than thou mm. extreme where we are some kind of um we're super spiritual you know mm. before we, we you know before we even choose what sucks we're gonna put on uh, we get a <laughs> word we get a word from the lord to say it's this sucks mm. we need to put on today um, where, where, where then anything that we do, that people will just hold us in high esteem to a point yeah. where we, it's like we're, we're so we're so highly elevated, you know, mm. our, our feet aren't even on the ground. Mm. But then you have the other extreme, yeah, where anything goes, or yeah. I know who I am, so it doesn't matter what I do or what I get myself involved in because I'm trying to relate to those who. Who, who may not know God or, or, or whoever and I'm trying to reach them in a way that you know makes them feel at ease while yeah. also I'm able to you know have my own cake and eat it yeah and so I, and so 
as much as it's important to be authentically yourself it's it's very it can be you have to be very careful one not to be so overly um mm. spiritual but also definitely not trying to 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 assimilate uh, yeah, to the yeah. point where you become unrecognizable and i think that's right, so that's the danger let me add you okay so, so let me add another layer to it then as it relates to leaders now right ministers but especially ministers and pastors um how do we what because we're human too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but at the same time we're ministers you know the bible says in the book of revelation how how John was writing to the angels of the church mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and that word angel can be interpreted as uh, messengers yeah. of God yeah so it's been argued that Pete that John under the inspiration of Jesus is writing to the ministers the leaders of the church yeah and Bishop T.D. Jakes he's he's the angel of Potter's house he's the messenger of God mm -hmm. but at the same time he's he's trying to connect with so you get my question, yes. how do you do yeah. this on leadership level then as a minister? Is it possible to, should we? Yeah, and, and, and this is the thing where perhaps we don't really talk about as much, maybe mm. openly. Um, mm. and, and this is where perhaps people won't necessarily agree or like it, but it, it kind of comes down to um, sacrifice. Mm. Paul, Paul says, um, mm. to the weak, I mm. became weak so that I may win some. Um, I become all things to all men or to all people so that I could win a few. Yeah. So, so that means you can't necessarily be in places and spaces that if others, mm -hmm. now people will always have an opinion. It's not to say that you're always bound by what people think, mm -hmm. but you, if you're, if, if you're, if you're doing it thinking, well, I'm going to be in this space because I believe and, and people will say they believe this is where God has called me to this space and the way and how. But then you have to ask some serious questions. Is it compromising what you mm. inherently believe deep down what you know God is calling you to do? Or are you just occupying the space, yeah. just trying to fit in and trying to make a look or angle or to try and get in there hoping yeah. that something will bear at some point like and, and, and i think yeah. that's 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 the that's the danger and i think you have to realize some now some people may be able to occupy a space where they're like you know what yeah. i'm going to be myself but i know yeah. the line i'm not going to draw and i'm not going to cross but however for some people it's like you know what just being in that space is going to cause too much controversy um and, it, and it's not about us playing it safe but it's about us mm. understanding if if fruit is not being shown and mm. that's the thing we can't say we're there because god wants us there but then there's no fruit being shown and, and mm. what, what what do we mean by that fruit and it's not to say that every single person um all of a sudden at the drop of a hat has to be saved but what what is it what's being accomplished and what's being yeah. being achieved and and, and some of those yeah. things we can't we can't answer um, but I think ultimately as a leader, you have to hold your hands up and be like, certain things I'm just going to have to sacrifice, even if, it, even if yeah. it means I'm not going to be able to be in certain spaces. But for some people, mm -hmm. actually, probably God is calling them into that. But it, it, it's not being, it's not being, you're not being compromised while mm -hmm. you're in that space. Um, let, let, let me, let me add to it then. Let me, let me, because I, I hear what you're saying. I think what I'd add to it is if your conduct makes a person stumble yeah right yeah 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 all yeah. all, all encourages us to, yeah. to, to not even think about it like in regards to eating meat yeah 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 you know so if well meat sacrifice to idols yeah you know but yeah. but the thing is this now but let, but let me flip it now let me flip it now let's go to the book of daniel mm -hmm. book of daniel chapter one you know the book of the book the book of daniel where we see the babylonians uh, centuries ago they you know they were considered the mm. superpower of the day yeah, yeah. you had the babylonians they were a mighty empire they're so mighty yeah. even in rastafarian culture you know and not just rastafarian culture but just in jamaican culture mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm all around you know they refer to 
you know, European and oppressive countries as Babylon, Babylon. Yeah. especially especially Britain. Yeah. Like that the the weight of of this of 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 Babylon mm -hmm. and 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 the grandness of that empire, man, is is it's even still prevalent today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we see Daniel and the Israelites, or really those within Judah, being taken to Babylon as captive slaves. And that's within that context now, yeah, yeah. King, King, King Nebuchadnezzar, who was the king during that, well, during that initial stage, mm -hmm. he picks from the, the wisest and, 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 and the handsomest young men yeah. to bring into his court yep. to serve as wise men. But what do you do then when you're in a context like that, where, where okay, there is a sense of power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Daniel and Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego, they had, they didn't have a choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's either, it's either you listen to the king or, or you're dead. Mm -hmm. But even within that darkness, we see Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego operating in character, yeah, with yeah, integrity, yeah, yeah. directing the king when he when he needed it. It's clear, yeah. P. Diddy talks to T.D. Jakes privately. Mm -hmm. We we don't know the conversations going on. What if Bishop Jakes is 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 guiding him privately and just encouraging him and helping him to make right decisions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the nature of the nature of the relationship. Like what if God is working within that mix and yeah. that T D Jakes is just caught up in a storm and even though he is an angel of the church, right. a minister, gospel, a leader in public, yeah. you know, is he just caught up in something? That he has that 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 he's just been thrown into because yeah. it hasn't even been proven. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. As it's it's all a it's still a scandal, yeah. but it's an unproven scandal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And often lies travel at light speed, while the truth yeah, yeah. is slow like a snail. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Meaning yeah. people are more people are quicker to hear a lie yeah, than they are yeah. to hear the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, yeah. Think, what do you think about that? So, so. I think one of the things and I think when it comes to so, so I'm so glad you brought up that point about Babylon and the book of Daniel and what it means to be uh, living under oppression and how do you function and, and try to live um, under the under the thumb of a superpower under the thumb of an empire mm -hmm. when it comes to celebrities and when it comes to those in who have money and power um, wealth and prestige mm. there's almost like a, a cop out for them or there's almost like a a, a get out mm. and so again the question for me is what in those spaces mm. are are you trying to and, and of course I have to take at face value that he's trying to that anyone that occupies a space like that is trying to shape and trying to influence that for the glory of God. However, yeah. there has to come a time where we know when, when it comes to being in a position of, of, of power and influence and prestige, um, questionable things are done. We don't know, but yeah. we can only we 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 we, all, we can only we can only we can only see from the fruit we can only yeah. so so this hasn't come out of a vacuum some of the things that we know of um and if we're talking in regards to p diddy there's been numerous things in the way especially just in regards to his, his, the record label the amount of yeah. artists that have come out and said the way and how he's done he's done that's true so so yeah. it's it's almost like there's a track record of these things but then if you're as a minister you journey along somebody where's the fruit in that Mm. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Like, should where's be, the account? Should, where's how the is he, how is he changing? Right. That's what is, I'm, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I know. So if 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 I don't know. Let's say. Let's say for example. Argument's sake. We know stop no. Do, do we use Stormzy? Let's use Stormzy. Stormzy is a Christian. He said. So let's say I I mentor Stormzy now. Yeah. Stormzy. Me and Stormzy start powering and I start. But yet Stormzy keeps dropping albums that are just, I don't know, he's and the things that he talks about or 
things that are coming out that he's showing like he's doing he's doing people over so my relationship with Stormzy over time it's like he's still displaying and showing things that are just things that are just incompatible to our mm. to, to the things that we're I'm supposed to be journeying with him on and so if people are coming out yeah Stormzy did me over this or Stormzy you know what he he actually did get someone to put me in a boot um so he's actually leaving out some of the lyrics and all these kind of the, people will be questioning like David so what What's going on with you and your what's, what's going on with you and your boy? I thought I thought you and him, do you know, what I mean? and and it's that like we have to hold that to account as well. If 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 it's that type right. of re- if it's that type of relationship, it might not be. It might just be purely business. It could be. It could be. But, but let me. Okay, let's go back to Daniel now. Let me let me let me let me push back. To, let me push back as the brother in Christ. Yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> okay now King Nebuchadnezzar has a dream No one's able to interpret it Matter of fact He tells the wise men The enchanters He says this And these are Babylonians by the way He says Tell me the dream And its interpretation <laughs> Yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's almost an impossible request No one can do it Then they hear about Daniel mm-hmm. Then and then they call Daniel to the scene, and then Daniel says, you know, and then Daniel seeks God, and God gives him the dream and the interpretation, and it's about that massive statue, mm-hmm. how, how the head is of gold, the shoulder is of is of silver. I mean, the chest is of silver, right? Mm-hmm. Or, or is it iron? And, and then so on and so forth. Yeah, there's this massive statue of Nebuchadnezzar. And Daniel is trying to tell him, like, this represents the different kingdoms. And then Jesus is, well, not, he, well, he doesn't say Jesus, yeah, yeah, but yeah, he yeah. speaks of a stone yeah. that smashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feet. Next chapter, Nebuchadnezzar builds the statue. Yeah. He, he could, could Daniel control Nebuchadnezzar's actions? Or is it Daniel's, res- or isn't, is that Daniel's responsibility? Mm. Or is Daniel's responsibility to simply speak the truth of God? And it's up to Nebuchadnezzar whether he obeys it or not. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, can, but can we really say that that's Daniel's fault for what Nebuchadnezzar did? Yeah. Yeah. So my, so my thing is, so, so with Bishop Jakes now, Daniel, let's say, so Bishop Jakes, so Daniel represents Bishop Jakes. King Nebuchadnezzar represents P. Diddy. Mm-hmm. Can T. D. Jakes control P. Diddy? I'm um, um, control P. Diddy. Mm-hmm. Is that what he's supposed to do, or is he just supposed to be a, a good presence within that space? Hopefully, speaking God's word. Yeah. With that though. Oh. Yeah. With that though, Daniel had no choice. Daniel mm. was under an, was was under an oppressive um, empire. Yeah. In this in this respect, TD Jakes isn't. Uh, if, if, anything, if anything, arguably he has perhaps more influence in some respects than than than, than P did it. Mm. Arguably, um, even in the context, th- there's a choice there. Mm. TD Jakes could could be like, I'm going to par with Diddy, or I can walk away. Daniel had no choice. He couldn't. He That's couldn't. He, could, he couldn't walk away. Um, mm. And 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 even when you look at it deeply as well, Daniel was always resisting. Or you could see that there was elements that Daniel yeah. and the Israelites or those yeah, from Judah were resisting. Were resisting. Um, so, so the question for me is the co- the, the collusion element. Mm, do we okay. co- do we do we as leaders and as mm. Christians do we collude with Babylon? Mm. Um, and and I would and I would argue. And, and now I'm going to fast forward and look at Herod. Mm, okay. Well, Herod, Herod as in... King New, Herod. New, King Herod. King Herod. New Testament. Oh. New Testament. How, the, how Herod and even the Sanhedrin colluded with Rome. True. To, okay. to one, to hold on to power. Mm-hmm. As a means to kind of keep the people calm. What does, what does that mean? To be in a position of authority and to be in a position of leadership and influence if the mm. very system is designed mm. to keep your own people down mm. and oppressed 
And mm. what is your role in that? Are you there to challenge and overthrow? Or are you there to... You're getting deep. You're getting deep. Oh, that's good. I've taken. That's good. <laughs> I've never heard of it from that perspective. That's good. No, you're right. That's good. And this is the challenge for for us as as as, as leaders, because in mm. one sense we want to be in positions and places of influence, mm. but at what cost? Are we there to collude, or are we there to to, to help tear down? Because, mm. and, 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 and I know I'm not saying you know it is not empire, but he's part. And even and even I know the even but it's part of a system. Yeah. Um, and part of a structure. Um that that is clearly there's a clear imbalance there. Um mm -hmm. and it's not and it's not to say that we don't um as 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 leaders we don't mm -hmm. try to bring influence to be salt and light in mm -hmm. those places, but at what cost? But okay now, but now let me flip it now. Um, Jesus was called wine bibber, mm -hmm. meaning alcoholic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was called a sinner. Mm -hmm. He's called a friend of sinners. Yeah, yeah. Because, and this was because he he you know he hung out with prostitutes. He hung out with uh, tax collectors yeah. whom Jewish people hated. Mm -hmm. Tax collectors who worked, who were Jewish, yeah. working for the state. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Jesus hung out with those people. Yeah. The very, the very arm and extension of the empire, yeah. the tax collectors. Jesus is still hanging out with them, and not just that, he's converting them. And and. Uh, so, so my point is that's good it's good so 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 my point is now if we if we look at now um israel mm -hmm. or 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 you know jewish people back in jesus's day mm -hmm. even though they had less power than the roman empire yeah they still had religious power mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what happened was the pharisees and sadducees as you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they would they would cast out and condemn those who were considered impure right that's that's why we get the people um, um the woman with the issue of blood yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason why that's so significant is because she's bleeding mm -hmm. and, that, and that makes her defiled yeah, yeah, yeah. therefore according to jewish law she can't go into the temple she can't worship she can't be around people she is defiled yeah yeah but now it's jesus now hanging out with these people and how can they receive their healing yeah yeah. If they never touch the light, yeah. how can how can the leper or how can the ten lepers who are suffering with leprosy, how can they ever be healed of their leprosy if they never meet Jesus? Yeah. How can the blind men receive their sight? Blind man Bartimaeus. How how can these imperfect people, if they never get the top the chance to be around light, how can they be converted by the light? Yeah. And I could be wrong. No, no, you're right. No, you're I'm right. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm just suggest. I'm just proposing. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with you a hundred percent. And no, you're right. You're right. That's that's what Jesus did. Um, and I love the point that you made that he hung out with the tax collectors, who, as you said, by definition, were an extension of the empire for the way and how empire was funded. So mm. again, even 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 that, Jesus would have been chanted down today. Yeah, yeah. So we know Jesus would have been would have been hung up and, and and drawn for the things if if he was operating in the same way in today's context. Hundred percent, would have been like, <laughs> "Wow, wow, go on there. What? How is he look? Look at how he look at how he's moving. Look at who he's rolling yeah. with." Yeah, yeah. The difference, though. I know what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna what, say. What? I think I, I think I know what you're gonna say. The, the difference was Jesus had the impact. I knew it. On, I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> so, 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 so we we go into those spaces. Yeah, there has to be influence. But we rec yeah. but we recognize, and it's not to say we 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 don't learn and we don't um, humble ourselves. Mm. Um, and it's not as if we don't have nothing to learn. And, mm. and, and of course, people will influence us. But as you say, the moment the moment it becomes where 
the light is being drowned out by, mm. the, by the darkness. Mm. Then we have to start asking some serious questions. The moment our salt is being diluted, or it's not salt again, mm. the moment our salt ain't even flavoring up the thing, then we have <laughs> to we have to ask no, you're some right. serious no. questions. So I hundred I agree with you hundred percent. Um but when it becomes we have to we have to recognize our own shortcomings. If we don't build if we don't build a system of accountability mm. around us mm. to be like, you know what, Aaron, yeah. um here what yeah. I'm gonna go, you know, Aaron, you know what I'm doing this weekend? I'm gonna go mm. I'm, I'm I'm gonna go to, to I don't know, to rare tete. I'm going I'm going I'm I'm going to this place here, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down with these man. I, I just know they're gonna be smoking a bag of weed. And I'm gonna come mm. out there smelling. Now you need to be able to question and be like, okay, how 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 do you know how do you handle that? Have you have you had an addiction to weed mm. in the past? Is this a right thing? Is it wise for you to do that? How are you? So it's not to, it's not to say nah you don't go into those places, but how you build that level of accountability. And the moment you try to ask me those questions, that I be like, what are you talking about? Don't ask me no question. I know what I'm doing. I'm a big man. That's when mm. we're in. That's when we're in dodgy ground. That's when yeah. we're in a scary place. When we don't cry comes before the fall. Comes before the fall. When it's like, don't watch my thing. I know what I'm doing. You watch what you're doing. Do you know, I think, do you know what I, I think, mean? I, I hey, I think, I think, and and this is my and 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 after this, I have nothing left. I'm, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but 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 um, it's almost like the it's like when Jesus curses the fig tree. Mm. Jesus curses the fig tree because it isn't bearing fruit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's the whole idea of, you know, if you've been working on something, mm -hmm. there's no productivity, what do you do? Wow, wow. Okay. So do, you, do, you, do, you, do you bounce? Right, do you keep right. moving? Do you keep it stepping? Do you ditch it? Yeah. Like, okay, I've been hanging out with so-and-so for how long? Mm -hmm. And there's no progress. Mm -hmm. And I think in those moments, man, you need to walk. I think in those moments, as as scripture says, you know, and and I'm using this as an as a as an you know as an as an uh, can't talk as an analogy. Mm -hmm. You know, the letter killeth, but the spirit gives life. Yeah. It's about how the spirit will will guide you into all truth. Yeah, yeah. In in those moments, you yeah. need to be able to differentiate between when you need to cut it off yeah 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 yeah. Oh, what yeah fig tree i curse you yeah 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 finish yeah or because there is the fruit of patience yeah 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 you know and and, and often i know with me if the christians who are working on me gave up on me mm -hmm. even though i was caught up in my foolishness and living my crazy life yeah yeah if, if they would have given up on me i wouldn't be training for ministry yeah yeah so I think there has to be that wise discernment between nah, that's it, sever severing ties. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna enjoy with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's all about discernment, I think. Yeah, yeah. And 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 you're right. And I think as you were talking, two things came to mind. So first thing, I I I really, if everyone charted me down for being around certain people. As long as, as long as I know and there's clear evidence of fruit being displayed, I wouldn't really care, le care less in that respect. Especially if it's coming from people who are Christians who are who always try to over-spiritualise or who maybe don't know me. So I, I would be... People who don't know me, then I would kind of keep at an arm's length. But I would still have to understand as perception um, and, and being a public figure, what then that means. And I'm, I'm held accountable and I'm going to be open to scrutiny. I get that. But if I know the fruit that I'm dealing with or the way in how I'm going about this, this whether whether it's a relationship of, of, of who I'm journeying with, then I wouldn't really... Uh, I wouldn't really mind if people were, were, were scrutinising it, especially, but people who know yeah, what it's about, yeah. then, that's, then that's a different thing. The, the other thing, as as, as you were talking, as we also have to be aware, like I have to be aware of my own weaknesses and shortcomings. Now, if I have a tendency to the allure of um, 
being in a space and, and with places that give me a sense of value like yeah man look who i'm rolling with or look at the opportunities i should get look at the monetary opportunities i should get if i start rolling with this person you know what i mean that could open up a bag of financial opportunities for me yeah, yeah. But, but then what would that what then what the would, that, would that mean? Would that compromise me? Would that compromise me? Do you know what I mean? And I have to understand like how, what's my weaknesses and shortcomings? Because if I know if being around such and such a person will yeah. open up a certain opportunity, but again, if it means, yeah. if it means that it, I'm going to be, I'm going to be um, in, in, in situations where I've got to, I'm going to be asked yeah, I uncomfortable questions, then I've got to be like, is it worth it? Is it worth mm, like not only is it is it worth it and is it part of the bigger picture? Do you know what oh, I mean? Right. So if I it's like you know what, there's a great God is being glorified in a greater way, then mm. I can enjoy that. But if mm. it's like I don't really see God in this, yeah, I see I see, the, doing, I see yeah. the benefits for myself. Mm. I see the financial gain. I see the I see certain things happen, and I see I see the opportunities that are being presented. I see my influence being more wide, being being spread more widely. Now I'm getting more of a following. Now I'm getting more people asking me to come here and to come there and to do this and do that. But at what cost? And is the bigger picture always at hand, where God is elevated, that people will come to Him who may not otherwise come to Him? through the mm. way and how I'm, I'm, I'm conducting myself. And those are hard hitting questions because yeah. we all, we, and I always say, and, 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 and Marcus Garvey says, no one really wants to, no one, no one really wants to, to steal anything mm. because of lack of, because of lack of opportunity, because of lack of money, but we do it anyway. We're always going to violate that commandment of stealing because of, if we're in a position of poverty, it's like no one wishes to be in a, in a place of poverty and in need. And so we're always striving to want to be better mm. off. Yeah, but yeah, want, yeah, yeah. Sorry if I'm off. zoning out. I'm no, just, no, no, I'm no, just, no. I'm see, just thinking. I see, I, see, I, see the clocks, I see the clocks turning. Oh, no, no, because I'm not going to lie to you. I'm in, I'm in that same place now where it's like, man, listen, I need to stop making the excuse that I'm with these people because I'm trying to win them over. No, I'm with these people because it's fun. Right. And right. and 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 hist and I'm not talking now. This is history. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and back, I'm, I'm back in the day, man. I wasn't trying to win. Like, initially, I may have started hanging out with them mm -hmm. for the sake of Christ. Like, yeah. I wanted to be a good influence. But then what happens is they just reinforce your vices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just want to continue living a life of sin. So you know, no, no, you're right. There has to be a balance between. Like, 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 you have to ask yourself, mm -hmm. is this fruitful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and often, man, the self examination is something people hate to do. Yeah. They love to examine other people. Yeah. yeah. But as, but as, but as Jesus said, you know, that we should be careful about the logs in our eyes mm -hmm. and not the speck yeah. in someone else's eye. Yeah. That we should examine ourselves so now you you're right man yeah so that's a great point to end on bless yeah, you man. bless you bro so bless thank you too. thank you man i didn't know it was gonna go that way <laughs> <laughs> didn't know it was gonna go that way so so yeah so people i hope that's been helpful um i really hope you've been you've been blessed uh by it. and also challenged we know this is not easy it's not an easy road regardless if you're in position of influence or leader or if you just you, you you're just trying to figure things out for yourself but don't 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 forget that people are always watching um whether you realize or not and so yeah i hope it's been a blessing to you but aaron thank you again it's been a blessing chopping it up with you um i'm, I'm looking forward to our, our next conversation next week so bless you so people thank you for for tuning in and joining us on the point please stay locked into affinity extra also leave a comment if there's anything that we've discussed or anything that you think yeah disagree or agree drop a comment and let us know what you think but bless yeah. you have a great week and we'll see you next time peace yes. 
Thank you for listening to this content. If you liked it, please don't forget to like, subscribe and make a comment down below. Or even more so, check out our website www.affinityextra.com for more information.